Okay, my friends. So today, with many of you stuck at home and after long flights, um, et cetera, et cetera, one of the problems that we often have is lower back pain. So I'm going to give a few exercises to assist in relieving the tension in your back and also waking up the spine. Um, oftentimes in class, I will use a belt. If you don't have a belt at home, just grab a scarf or a towel. You can use that in place of a belt um, and we'll fire away. So first thing that we're going to do is a hip opener and we will start by using gravity to assist us in opening the hip. I normally do this at the wall, but today because we're in the, our living rooms, the wall is not accessible. So I have my couch. Um, so sidle up next to the couch. Hip is directly touching the couch and then legs up. Once I, I'm here, I push my elbows down into the ground and I'm moving forward so my backside is directly on the couch. So elbows down, scoot the butt forward, elbows down, buttock forward, and then legs spread apart. If your couch is too small, as mine normally would be, just legs spread as far apart as possible or if you're feeling quite open in your hips, fully extending the legs on your own. Once you're here, place your hands on your inner thighs, relaxing the entire spine. Just bringing attention to your breath. Feeling the lower back on the ground. Allowing the jaw to drop towards the floor, so releasing any tension that you have in your face. So another great assistance for this one is if you're doing a long flight overseas, oftentimes all the blood goes towards our feet. So if you're having any trouble with jet lag, doing the legs up the wall is a fabulous way to reduce the swelling and assist in getting back into your regular sleeping pattern. Bringing your feet together in a butterfly position. Use your hands to gently push the knees towards the wall or couch. together rolling onto your side and taking hold of your scarf or your belt laying on your back side removing the flesh from under the back right leg raises up looping the belt over top your leg bringing the heel directly atop the hip so the leg is locking into place and then attention goes to the left leg Pushing the left heel forward, toes move towards your face, heels push away, so much so that the back of the knee is coming down towards the ground. Adjusting the spine, fully resting on the mat. both 
thighs thoroughly engaged so you can see right now i've got a relaxed thigh so i want to work the muscles of that thigh push the heel higher stretching the back of my legs my hamstrings love me right now Okay, second side, foot goes in the loop, taking a look at your right leg, making sure that the heel is not going out towards the side. We've got a straight line from the hip all the way to the outer ankle, still pushing the heel away, flexing the feet, left heel moves towards the sky. Effort of your arms is assisting in stretching the back of your legs. belt, bending your knees, interlacing your fingers over top, entire spine is relaxing on the ground. Take your right ankle, placing it over top the left thigh, sliding the right arm through. Options, either interlacing behind the leg or over top the shin. to the second side left ankle over top interlace on the shin when you're doing the interlace interlace the opposite finger on top the shin. Take hold of outside of both feet. Heels are stacked at the top of the knees. Happy baby. Using a gentle effort with the weight of your hands to bring the knees closer to the mat, but at the same time keeping your lower spine on the ground. Shoulders drop down. Rocking side to side, massage the lower back. And bring it onto your side for cat and cow. Placing your hands shoulder width apart, fingertips spread apart. Back toes are tucked under. Taking an inhale, chin up to the sky, arching your back. And as you exhale, round the back, bringing the chin towards the chest, making the back of the neck long. Deep inhale, looking up, chin to the sky. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, look up. 
rounding the back, pull the belly towards the spine as you round the back, taking an inhale, look up, exhale, round the back, and tabletop spine, coming into child's pose, bringing your toes together, knees are spread apart, arms reach forward, forehead to the ground, sinking your heels towards the hips, Back of the neck is fully relaxed. Place your left hand in the middle of the mat, sliding the right arm under. Left elbow goes atop your ear, looking towards the ceiling making sure that the right shoulder is fully grounded on the mat so you're feeling the twist in the middle of your spine. Chin up towards the sky. Long deep breath. Coming through the center, right arm reaches, sliding through. See the shoulder is fully grounded rather than popping up. Chin towards the ceiling. And back into child's pose. Walking your hands back, laying on your backside, bringing your right knee towards your chest, interlacing your fingers over top the shin. Pulling your knee towards the armpit. And supine twist, taking the knee towards the left, Rolling onto the left hip, right arm extends, looking towards the right fingertips. So you can see right now, both my shoulders are on the ground rather than this shoulder popping up. So allowing it to drop, once again, working the middle of the spine. to center, left knee to chest, interlace the opposite finger on top, and reach the shoulder, twist. Knee goes to the right, rolling onto the right side. Left arm extends, shoulders on the ground. Doesn't matter how far the knee is coming down towards the ground. What we're working on first is keeping both shoulders on the mat. Chin drops to the left. Into center, both knees to chest, interlace your fingers over top. Give yourself a big hug. 
And thank you, thank you, thank you. And releasing your legs for Shavasana. So feet are hip width apart, toes to the side, palms to the sky. Adjusting your shoulders, resting the entire spine on the ground. Making sure the toes aren't pointing towards the ceiling, allowing the pinky toe to become heavy. And bringing your attention to your breath. Right hand to your belly, left hand to your heart. Feeling your heartbeat, feeling the movement of your belly. Taking a deep inhale through your nose. As you exhale, deep inhale, and it all out, deep inhale, and then breathe at your own pace. your knees, rolling onto your right side, use your arm as a pillow. And pushing yourself up into cross-legged position. Bringing your hands to your heart, thumbs touch your sternum. Taking the time to thank yourself for devoting time and energy to your body. And giving a gift only you have the power to give. And bow your head to your heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining. I hope that your back is treating you well. I hope that you're treating your back well. And stay healthy, everyone.